On the western side of the Dead Sea, on the Judean Mesa, rise the cliffs of Masada. This plateau, surrounded by valleys, was the place of the tragedy that happened to the Zealots in 73 AD, and since then is a symbol of national union. The Old Testament already mentions the lonely plateau that is located south from Engedi, the Kid Spring, and whose name means strength, rock castle, or fortress in Hebrew. The cliff that towers above the level of the Dead Sea with its 434 meters was first fortified by Junaeus, Maccabean king, around 100 BC. Almost 60 years later, Herod the Great built one of the most significant fortresses of Israel, partly to consolidate his power, partly to protect his family. Later, Masada became a Roman garrison that was captured in 66 AD by a group of Jewish rebels, the Zealots, starting the first Jewish-Roman War. The commander of the legion surrounded the cliff with a wall to cut off escape routes. Then he constructed a huge stone ramp fixed by wooden stakes against the western face of the plateau, allowing the soldiers to finally reach the inside of the fortress but the Romans did not find anybody alive in the palace because the Zealots had chosen freedom instead of slavery. The story is elaborated by Josephus Flavius in his book called The Jewish War, which over the ages became the second Bible of the Jews. Today, young Israeli soldiers declare the following sentence at their graduation, Masada shall not fall again. The plateau is girdled by an almost one and a half kilometer long circumvallation wall following the winding line of the cliff. 38 watchtowers were built for the guard. Their height exceeds 10 meters. A synagogue stood on the western side. Different bathhouses were at all kinds of people's disposal. The designations of the room of the ritual bathing complex or mekveh, can be recognized as follows. The changing room is known as the apoditarium, the lukewarm bath as the tepidarium, the cold bath as the frigidarium, and the thermal bath as caldarium. The platform of the caldarium lay on short pillars, so the hot air of the heating chamber, or hypocaustum, could flow among them. Columbarium is a separate building on the plateau, this is a storage for cremated remains of the deceased. The so-called Western Palace stood on the northwest side of the cliff. According to presumptions, it could be a multi-storied building with the suites, rooms, assembly halls and saloons of the royal family and the guests. The most stunning buildings of the plateau can be found on the offset levels of the northern cliff. This is the Northern Palace. It is a breathtaking sight. Let us bow to the brilliance of the ancient engineers. It can be called Hanging Palace, and rightly so. The semicircular room lies on columns at the northern edge of the plateau. Here we can admire the stones of the reddish, rich topography of the desert that lies around the cliff, while on the right, in the distance, the Dead Sea gleams. From here, we can also look down 30 meters below to the ruins of the Round Hall. The millennium's old ruins of Masada are still a real treasury for the archaeologists of the world. Hundreds of shards with Aramaic, Ancient Greek, Hebrew, and Latin inscriptions were found that date from the time of the Jewish-Roman War. These prove the truth of the words of Josephus Flavius, who wrote about the events that happened in the fortress. Fourteen scrolls that were found in different corners of the fortress and belonged to the books of the Old Testament hold particular value among the findings. Their elaboration is still in progress. The work of archaeologists is followed with attention by those interested in the cultures of the world.